Hi gorgeous and a very happy frugal Friday to you. If you are new and this is the first video you've seen from me, welcome. I make videos like this every Friday focusing on drugstore and affordable products, so please subscribe and you'll always be notified of new videos in the future. Today I'm putting eight liquid lipsticks to the test for you. These are matte and some of them are not matte, but I'll be showing you an up close application with each of these in addition to an actual real life wear test so you can see up close close how these held up throughout the day. First liquid lipstick I have to share with you is from CoverGirl, and this is their Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick. The shade that I'm using here is Jalebrity. This is a very creamy and absurdly pigmented application. I didn't have any struggles with getting it to show up on the lips. It's not matte, I will warn you now, it does not dry down completely and it does remain tacky on the lips throughout the day. And surprisingly, I really like the color of this, even though it was way outside of my normal wheelhouse. <laughs> and after wearing this lipstick for eight hours straight, this is what it looked like on my lips. The color did fade from that initial really dark brown to a very wearable light brown, which I rather like. I'm not sure if the other colors in this line do the same thing, but I really did like the results with this one. And it wasn't patchy looking on my lips by the end of the day, so all in all, two thumbs up for this CoverGirl lipstick. Hard Candies Wet Ever, and this is a bold hold lip lacquer, according to the package here. Pigmentation with this one was very splotchy and uneven. To get this one to even look somewhat wearable on the lips was really hard to do, and the application was just horrible. It does get on your teeth after you apply it too, so you have to constantly monitor it after you first apply it so that it doesn't rub off everywhere else. Many of you may remember me wearing this one in a video very recently, and I had said down in the description bar, don't buy this lipstick because it's horrible. And I'm sure I looked like a buffoon that day in the video too, but you know what, I don't care. I was testing this lipstick out. And at the end of the day, you can see why I am not recommending this lipstick to you whatsoever. It bled and it feathered horribly. And this is what it looks like after just wearing it for four hours. It started to look like this at the two hour mark. The color faded, it was just oh, splotchy, patchy, nasty. Don't buy these. Another liquid lipstick that I tested out very recently is a new release from NYX, and this is their Slip Tease Full Color Lip Oil. And the shade that I'm wearing here is I Woke Up Like This. I did like the initial application with this one. I found it to be very smooth and creamy, and I expected really great quality from NYX like I am accustomed to getting. This one is not matte, by the way. It does not dry down and it does transfer all over the place, so be mindful of that. It wears horribly, too. This is what it looked like after just two hours on my lips. It was practically gone. I mean, it's just disappeared from the center of my lips. I don't even know where it went. Huge disappointment with this one, especially considering that I've had so many other great experiences with Nick. NYX <laughs> liquid lipsticks. I'm tired, I'm sorry. But yes, this one is not worth looking into. Just skip it completely. Another liquid lipstick that I tried recently is from Koki Cosmetics. This is that cosmetic brand that recently popped up in Walmart stores. I need to do a whole review on them for you soon here. I did pick up one of their Lip Poudre, I think that's how you say it, and it's a liquid matte powder. The shade that I'm using here is Claret. Initially, this one has a really great application and I did find it to be very pigmented, but it doesn't dry matte. I don't know what they're talking about here when they say that this is a matte powder because even after I wore this one for eight hours, it was still transferring all over everything. No matter what I touched, this lipstick got everywhere. While I was wearing this one throughout the day, I noticed that it was starting to disappear in certain spots around my top lip area. And by the end of the day, after eight hours, it had completely disintegrated from the inner corners of my mouth. Just completely disappeared, as it had in the middle of the lips too. I personally would not wear this one ever again. I wouldn't look at any other lipsticks from the Koki line for that matter. Really disappointed by this one. Another hard candy liquid lipstick that I tried out, and this was after the wet ever one. I kept an open mind, but boy, I was skeptical. You can understand why. Was their metallic mousse, and this is in the shade Penny Talk. They're calling this a matte metallic lip color, and I really do like the color of this one. It does dry down to be fully matte on the lips. 
I really liked the finish of it and the effect that it had on the lips. So I was hoping this one was going to wear really well by the end of the day. But after eight hours, this is what it looked like on my lips. Now it wasn't completely terrible and it could have been because of the color that I chose to go with. It did wear away on the inner corners, started to disappear in the center of the lips, but to me it was a little more manageable than the other hard candy lipstick I had just talked about. Would I wear this one again if I was planning on wearing it all day? Probably not, but I really like the color, so I might just <laughs> wear it knowing that it's not gonna wear that long and touch it up throughout the day. Maybelline's Super Stay Matte Ink, and the shade that I'm showing you here is in Loyalist. Really creamy, really pigmented. I like the application with this one a lot, and the color was also equally nice. This one will dry down completely and become fully matte. It does take a little bit of time, but once it does, it doesn't transfer onto anything. And after wearing this one for eight hours straight, this is what it looked like on my lips. Very impressed with these results. It didn't fall apart, it didn't disintegrate as badly as some other liquid lipsticks have in the past for me. And overall, for eating and drinking throughout the day, this looked really good. L'Oreal also came out with a new liquid lipstick very recently called Pro Matte liquid lipstick, and this is part of their infallible line. The shade that I'm using here is Nudist. Great pigmentation, very easy to apply this one. And like the Maybelline one, it does take a little bit of time to dry down, and it feels tacky initially, but it, when it is fully dry on the lips, it is completely matte and transfer proof. And after wearing this one for eight hours, again, highly impressed with the wear time of this one. And it looked really good for what I put it through that day. I was kissing my son, I was eating, I was drinking, I was doing all of my normal activities, and for a drugstore lipstick to look like that, after eight hours, oh yeah, sign me up. And the final liquid lipstick I have to share with you is Rimmel's Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. And the shade that I'm sharing with you here is Latte To Go. This is one that I included as part of another video recently, and I had said in that video, I liked the application with it, I found it to be very easy to apply, pigmentation was great, etc., etc. It does have a funky smell though. It smells like rubber and cake rubbery cake, like I said in that video. And this was the only one out of all the liquid lipsticks that I'm sharing with you today that had a distinct smell to it. The others really didn't have a scent. And I didn't really care for the scent in the Rimmel liquid lipstick. And unfortunately for this one, it didn't wear that well throughout the day either. This is what it looked like at the end of the day. Very patchy application. It wore away pretty badly in my opinion. I would not purchase these in the future and I do not recommend them. I have a sick baby right now. Everyone in the house is sick, but don't worry, he is being taken care of. That's if you hear crying in the background, that's what that is. Overall, best of the best that I cannot recommend to you enough are the ones from the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink line, the CoverGirl Melting Pout, and L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. If you see any of these, definitely check them out. But the worst ones that I don't recommend looking into at all are the two from the Hard Candy line, the Wet Ever, the Metallic Mousse, ugh. Terrible formula, terrible wear time with those. The NYX Slip Tees, Rimmel's Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks, the Koki Lip Poudres, and yeah, that was about it, but yeah. Yep. If liquid lipsticks are your thing, I do hope that you found this video helpful and that it was able to help save you some money and point you in the right direction of liquid lipsticks in the drugstore that are worth looking into. Let me know your favorites as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more in the future, and I wish you a wonderful weekend.